customer of mine wanted me to go get a seed bin that he had bought from another farmer and then take it to my shop, do some patching on it, and then erect it at his place. I wanted to put the trailer on the other side of my truck, but because of the terrain, I decided it would be easier to just pick the grain bin up, put it on the back of my truck, and then back up to the trailer. The grain bin weighs under 3,000 pounds. I don't know the exact weight. But just by judging how the crane lifted it, I'd say it's honestly really close to 3,000 pounds. This grain bin's in a little bit of sad shape. It's got some dents and dings and definitely needs some repair. As you can see, there's not even a lid on it. And that night, I got hit by a blizzard. Barely made it home before it started snowing. It was incredible. As you noticed, I was wearing a short sleeve shirt. It was so nice that day. So it sat for, oh, I think better than a month before I got around to it. And it's a whole lot easier to unload the grain bin when I can just pick it up, drive the trailer out from under it, and set it down. So then I started in on the patching. I'm using flux core wire. That went on for about the wind blowing my gas away. And I ended up working on this grain bin outside instead of putting it in the shop just because it was all galvanized. I didn't want to weld inside on it. Then I had to make the lid for it. So here I am just cutting out a circle out of sheet metal. Welded some strap iron around the edge to make a lip. And welded on a couple hinges. It's good to go. And of course the paint job after several more patches and removing several more dents. It looks decent, I guess. So then I was doing the math, double checking everything, and I realized the grain bin was actually three feet longer than what I first measured. So I couldn't lift it with the crane to erect it. That means I'd have to tilt it. So I ended up putting these, I guess you call it a base, on the bottom of it. You can kind of see here as it swings around. Because I came up with this idea, instead of lifting from the top, that I'd lift from the side and use a winch line, which you'll see here in a second. So I'd rotate it up instead of just lifting it from the top. If you notice, I got a tag line tied to the base too, so I can pull that thing, get it right in place. See if I'm lifting with the crane there. I decided to lift until uh, it was up quite a ways. Just kind of get a feel for the stress on the crane arm. Make sure it wasn't overloading anything. On the back of this pickup here though, I have a winch. One thing about this grain bin is it kept bouncing like that all the time. It was very annoying. So I'm moving the pickup forward until the winch line is tight. And then I'll use both of them together. That way there's no side forces on the crane. And it was kind of a trial and error thing to winch in and run over to the crane and move the crane a little bit and run back and winch. It actually got very tiring running back and forth to the winch controls. In hindsight, I probably should have 
used an extension cord and extended those winch controls. So yeah, that darn grain bin just keeps bobbing up and down like that. I don't like that. Putting too much force on the crane. So I shouldn't have gone quite that far on that lift. And the rest of the ones, I just moved the crane a little, winched a little. Didn't make near as big of movements. Basically, is what I ended up switching to on my strategy was pulling it up with the winch. And then the crane just kind of stabilized it that way hopefully it wouldn't fall over to one side or the other there I'm just checking to make sure my wheel chocks are doing their job oh yeah I gotta put down the controls and run back over to the truck back and forth back and forth I don't know how many times I did that and there I'm about down or technically about up. I was kind of going gentle with it. It was just the breeze was starting to pick up a little bit, as you can hear. It was making me nervous. But it turns out this is actually very stable this way. So I shouldn't have been quite so nervous. But this is my first one. And that's it. She's standing up. Very anticlimactic. If you notice, the base is wiggling a little bit. That concrete wasn't quite perfectly flat. So I had a little wobble. Thumbs up. That's right. And then the wonderful task of drilling all the holes and putting in the anchor bolts. cutting apart the little frame I built. It was definitely worth making that frame on it. Then I came back later and put the auger on. That way he can unload the grain from it. And I converted that auger to hydraulic drive from electric. That way he didn't have to run electricity down there. Use his tractor. And sometimes jobs breed jobs. And I got to do these two because a guy found out I could do those big ones. These are little ones. The one on the left is maybe 15 foot tall. There was no winching required. I just lifted them up. I think they weighed under a thousand pounds. They were really light. I was there less than an hour for that job. And then the first guy contacted me again and said he had another grain bin he wanted me to refurbish and set up. This one I wheeled into the shop. I just couldn't catch a day between the rain and the wind to paint it and patch it. But I did it completely differently. Uh, and I should not have. I did not put the base on the bottom like I did before, and that really hurt me. It it was very wiggly, and I really had to finesse the winch and the crane. But the nice thing was, I had my Tulsa winch put on my truck at this point, so I could run the controls for the Tulsa winch right there next to the crane controls. I didn't have to walk anywhere. I could run them together. It went really fast. But as you can see here, without that base, them legs are very wobbly and it just wiggles everywhere. It made me very, very nervous. Here I am tugging on one of my tag lines just to make sure the dang thing ain't gonna fall over. I was sweating and not because of the humidity that day. But in the end, it went just fine. There it is down, or up.
There's a picture of the two. It was right next to the other one I did for that guy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on me setting up a few grain bins. Thanks for watching, y'all.